Don't forget, next weekend's Powerland. This is the spud adapter that I pulled out when I blew up reverse, and it is beat to smithereens. I'm not sure how well you can see, but those are all sharpened to a fine point compared to this side. Not sure how well that's showing up, but this got machined because the transmission and transfer case aren't quite aligned perfectly. So this is in there kind of driving at an angle, machining that all, heating this up. So I'm gonna try first, I'm gonna get rid of the full adapter like this that I'm using currently. And we're gonna use this adapter, but because of the length, I won't be able to use this drive shaft, so I'm going to go see what a single U-joint does. Maybe that will work so it'll not vibrate, which would be awesome. So these bearings are noisy. And that looks like it got a bit warm. I'm going to get new ones. So the way you do this is, these are a BCA 208, 208, 208F seal. So if you look that up, that cross references to a Timken bearing, a 6208 RS, which has seals, rubber seals. So I'm gonna order that one. And then this one, is a 307 BCA 307 F seal which that goes to another Temkin bearing the 6307 also RS two rubber seals two RS uh, so I'm gonna order those and we'll replace those when they come in yeah I guess I can disassemble, disassemble, disassemble this one because I need this shaft. So the way to double check these is the 6208 is an 80 inch OD bearing, so we got 80. It is a 40 inch ID, or 40 millimeter, excuse me, ID. So that's that. And then it's a 18 inch, or sorry, 18 millimeter depth right there, 18 millimeter. So that's that one. Let's check this one, the 307. It's gonna be an 80 also. 35 millimeter shaft and also an 18 millimeter thick so and that if I double check it shows actually as a 21 millimeter thick so let's put that to 21 We could call that close enough, I'm pretty sure. Double check on this one. Six three oh seven. See right there. Six three oh seven. What is that? 
with seal something seal I don't know if you can see that but yeah I'm gonna order the 6307 and the 208 and then we'll take care of that Make it easy on myself. Yeah. Vice now. Should be able to. There's some vice too. Oh, handy. There. All right. So that's pretty good. The background noise printing. I'm gonna press these bearings in. Like I said, you can press all right. Uh, I got this is an old one that I've made some modifications to to get out easy. Just so happens to be the same diameter. Don't worry about that crooked. For seal bearings. All right. Now, pretty much. Let's drop this in there. Okay. 
Yeah, let's not murder myself here. Gloves I could do. Hey, just use some gloves, man. Just like that. Sweet. And <laughs> now for the fun stuff. Grease it. I'm gonna stress relieve it. There we go, nice little juice. Put some grease in that, it'll be groovy. And this goes like that. Bolts to my transfer case, and my spur gear drives. Drive gear goes there. This goes in my transmission. And let's see how we're doing. Okay. Let's see. This is how long we can be. That is a bit longer, but there's plenty of room in there. And once I pull them tubes out. I thought I would save you all the uh, taking this out time, uh, but it's out. And we have to remove this ring right there. Uh, I'm just going to pull that off. And then we gotta swap out the bowl gear. I'll show you that. Here's what I'm working with. It is just the right size. I gotta swap this is the bowl gear. I need to take that off that. Put it on that. And then put this on that. And be done, hopefully. Alright, so I got my shaft out of the adapter. You can see this has been beat to crap, but it's held up pretty good. The splines are really good. I'll show you the other splines that aren't so good in a bit, but I gotta swap that out. These two ends are like the same-ish. I don't know, man. Hope it holds up. We'll see. If not, we're doing something completely different sits a little underneath there which is great because we want to apply pressure uh, this was in the other one but looks like we don't need that so yeah moving on all right so we got a heavier washer from the other kit and this nut from the other kit so we're just kit bashing here uh, I'm gonna tighten that and 
Let's see if we can clean up the other transfer case there. We are torqued to 80 to 110 foot pounds. So I went to 100 and a little. And now we're gonna go clean up the transfer case and put this stuff all back together. Hope for the best. Got the sleeve off. That's fun. Uh, now I gotta get the tubes out of there. Got my transfer case cleaned up. It's ready to go. Got my adapter all ready to go. Greased it up. You doing already? Uh, pulled the tubes out of there. I'll go over all that stuff later, but none of that's important anymore. Got to put the new seal in and then put this all back together. All right, so it looks like this is gonna work. No binding, nothing. I am going to put this together. It's in, no binding. Time to fill it up with gear oil and see how it goes. I think it's good. Oh yeah. And just because it's so good. Oh yeah. I'm so excited. All right, I'm gonna finish putting the drive shaft on the back and then I will go fill everything with oil. A little tip for drive shaft storage while working on things. I like zip ties and gloves. Keep your joints together. Works great. The drive shafts are in. You got fluid. Everything's in there. I'm gonna squirt some grease in the joints and put my tools away and take it for a spin. Before I get too far into this, uh, I want to show that this has been working pretty good. Like, it spins nice and smooth, as far as I can tell from here. I do have, let's see if I can get it. There's a, a bit of backlash in there though. I'm hoping it's because the, maybe the gear is floating or I don't know, but I'm getting in there. I know that the bearing floats in the housing a little. Uh, so I'm gonna look at that. All right, so taking it apart, I dropped this in there, you know, cause that drives this bull gear. That drives that whole setup. Um, to run the output and that fits in there nice and snug um, But this I think is the issue here So I'm gonna I got a new bearing Let me see if I can Do something about that But uh, I'll bring it back I'll Figure something out Okay, I had I had a little shim that I had made a long time ago for one of these um, because it was sitting inset, so this went around there. That setup's long gone, so I trimmed it down and put it in there, and now this bearing is not moving at all. Back together again for, I don't know, it's gonna come apart again. So, we'll go in and we'll continue. I got this in here. I set the dial indicator on here while I tightened everything up and I got it within three thou. Spins nice and smooth. I figure three thou is probably 
a little bit of rust there so let's call that good back together the rest of the way and drive to powerland